Hi, and thanks for tuning in to CVTV. Today we're with Mark Sollenberger, who is CEO of FirstCom. Mark, welcome to CVTV. Thank you very much, Gerald. It's great to be here. Great to have you here with us today. Why don't you start by telling us a little bit about, uh, about yourself and FirstCom? Sure. So I'm Mark Sollenberger. I'm CEO of FirstCom. Um, FirstCom actually got its start in the utility space over 20 years ago. Uh, we were First Energy's telecom company selling services not only to First Energy, uh, but also to their large base of residential and business customers. And, th and then about 10 years ago, we were spun out as a separate company. And, and that's when we really began our transformation from that CLEC route and, and to grow into the cloud services company that we are today. Um, but along with that, the one thing we did keep from First Energy was our, our deep commitment to customer care. Mm -hmm. You know, they, as, as a large utility, they were constantly pushing that with measurement, um, call times, uh, so that's something that was that we kind of grew up with. So we really made that part of our, our culture. Um, you know, today there's a lot of competition out there selling the same types of products and services. So we really differentiate ourselves by that customer care. I mean, our agents all the time talk about when they need that white glove treatment, they come to us. And, um, you know, I think that's true. And it's something that we really push through the agent community. And then we also really push to our current customer base. Mm -hmm. So talking transformation, uh, how did the company handle uh, your clients during the pandemic and also the company in general? Yeah, actually we use the same products and services that we offer. Mm -hmm. So when the pandemic first hit, even though we were able to stay in our offices because we're classified as essential, with all the uncertainty, we decided to move our employees to home. So we had them at home within a week. Um, after that was done, we immediately turned to our customers uh, we had tons of requests where you know, they pulled out their contingency plans and they never had envisioned a time where they weren't able to meet somewhere at one of their offices. So we had to quickly get them products that they needed to be able to work from home. We had to increase their bandwidth, uh, work on their firewall so they could get in through their VPN, provide them with mobility. Um, and, and then also too, we, you know, we, I mentioned about the customer service and, and just from the human side, we reached out to all our agents Again, there was a lot of unknown, so we wanted to make sure that you know, everyone was fine, uh, that they were being taken care of, and that we were there to provide any support that they needed. And, and along with that, we did have to provide um, financial relief to a lot of our customers who were impacted, not only by the pandemic, but then some of the protests in the larger cities. Like we had businesses in downtown Chicago that were completely wiped out. Mm -hmm. um, we worked with them. Um, you know, put their services on hold, allowed them to reopen, reestablish services. And, you know, I think that's important because, uh, you know, because we just wanted to make sure that when this thing gets over, that we, we, you know, those customers stuck with us for so long. We wanted to make sure that they were still there and still able to be our customers after this was over. So let's talk about integrations and collaboration here. Um, how is FirstCom handling uh, the demand for more integration and collaboration? And what is your vision for the company this year? Yeah, so we made that large investment, uh, not only in dollars, but also in, in time and training and resources into our, our UCAS platform. Mm -hmm. So our customers are constantly asking us to, to form integrations, whether it's into their CRM system. You know, they've asked for SMS texting, which we provided. But we rolled out a Microsoft Teams integration into the Meta platform. Um, so Everything that a customer wants, you know, we're we open and we're open and we're listening, so we can, you know, it helps us define what our products are going to be as we move forward. Um, we're also very dedicated to our agent channel. This company was really built on a large part based on the agents, um, and you know, we've got agents that you know we're still paying commissions to who were here 20 years ago at the start. Uh, so we've got a commitment to them. Um, we want to make sure that we're providing the customer service that they expect, uh, the products they expect. You know, we know we have good products. We know we have great pricing and we're actually building better financial incentives for that agent community to really, you know, if, if there's something being sold, we want to be a part of it with them. And you know, their success is going to make us successful. And that's what we're really focusing on. And, and I think the last thing is, you know, we rebranded FirstCom. Uh, we've got a new website out there, but I think we did it really on day one of the pandemic. So we want to continue to push that marketing, uh, continue to push that branding, just so everyone out there is aware of what we do. And when they need those services, they think of us. You know, the, we, we, we have customers in our current base 
that when we're selling to them, they're like, oh, I get, I didn't realize you guys did this also. So we just constantly have to get in front of them and make sure they're aware of everything that we do. Mark, it sounds like there's a lot going on at the company. It's going to be an exciting year for you. How can we learn more information? Um, well, we um, just rolled out our new website. So it's uh, www.firstcom.com, uh, which, is, which is a great source of information. It, it's really been upgraded quite a bit. Uh, and then people can also email me at msollenberger at firstcom.com. And then my phone number also is 330-835-2040. And anyone at any time, and that's part of our customer service, um, you know, people escalate to me all the time. You can go all the way to the top. You don't have to sit there and work through all these levels of escalation. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, you know, my phone's open and I love to hear from people and, and to get their feedback. Fantastic. Mark, thanks for your time today. Great catching up and we'll catch you next time. Great. Thank you so much.